Dad, you ready for bed now? No. Tell me a story. Oh, tomorrow, Jacob. It's late already, huh? But I'm not tired. <laughs> Let me guess. You want to hear about the children, hmm? Well, there was one named Emma, and another named Enoch, and they all... From the beginning. Okay. Once upon a time, on an island, on the other side of the world, there live some very peculiar children. They all live together in a big old house. It was an enchanted place where no one could find them. And the sun shone every day. They were so happy. What were they like? They were not like other people. They could do amazing things. Like what? Well, let's see here. There was a little boy who you couldn't see at all unless he was wearing clothes. And another one who could hold fire in her bare hands as if it was nothing. There was a pair of sisters who could talk to each other without ever saying a word. And a girl who could walk without her feet even touching the ground. She was so light, they had to tie a string around her middle to keep her from floating away. And they were all watched over by a wise old bird. Did they have to stay there? Yes, they did. Because they were hiding. Hiding from what? That's enough for tonight, hmm? But I want No, 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 no. You must sleep, you must sleep. I'm putting this away. Good night, dear boy. Grandpa? When will you tell me the rest? One day. One day. When Bod's family is killed, he takes refuge in a graveyard. Is adopted by its inhabitants and taught all of the things that dead people know. Bod grows up in a world of his own, a world where he's caught between the living and the dead. Sometimes the world on the outside of a graveyard can be a dangerous place. And it will take more than just a couple of good-hearted souls to raise a child. It will take a graveyard. The Graveyard Book is a tale of friendship, family, and how truly great it is to be alive.